what's happening my youtube friends long time no see out here on esplanade avenue new orleans again this is henriette de lille that's a mother mother henriette de lille we say a prayer about you know we use her name in a prayer in the catholic religion that's about all i know about that <laughs> how y'all been y'all doing all right good glad to hear it it's a beautiful day in new orleans but uh it's about 95 degrees that's the only problem it's all due to my little heat and a little humidity it's perfect you know <clears throat> excuse me uh it's like june end of june june 26th june 27th something like that you know and yeah it's we're experiencing a heat wave right now in new orleans and, uh, and it's causing a lot of a lot of uh concern for some people this is what they call farberg treme see if i can get a picture of that sign for you that's what i wanted to do an esplanade avenue video i haven't done an esplanade avenue hey, you can pause that and read that if you want to read it I haven't done an Asplanade Avenue video in a long time, maybe two or three years. This is, they have a new, newish, <laughs> it's probably been eight years, <laughs> but they have a streetcar now that runs on Esplanade. I mean, <laughs> St. Claude, I'm sorry. St. Claude and it changes, to, is it, this might be Rampart, but uh, St. Claude down there. And this is the streetcar, it's pretty nice. That all the little uh, places where you wait for the streetcar. Down there is Canal Street, if you're not familiar with the city. This is the French Quarter. This is this is the uh, corner of the French Quarter, where the, the boundary. Esplanade Avenue, North Rampart. That way is the French Quarter. I wanted to, they have some really nice architecture here. And I wanted to make, make, make video note of this. You know, in case something happens, there's a fire or something, you know. And you know, people... If you want to see what it used to look like, you know, maybe maybe 20 years from now, 30 years from now, maybe YouTube is still going. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have this on YouTube and, you know, look how cool that looks, you know. Maybe in 20, 30 years, somebody can look at this and say, oh, man, it, it, what happened? You know, that, that building wasn't there. It's not here anymore. You know, I wonder what it looked like before. So, uh, yeah, now you can see what <laughs> 30 years from now, somebody might be watching my video. I mean, I don't think I'll be around in 30 years, actually, but... I'll be 85 or something, 83, 84 maybe. But maybe, maybe, uh, who knows? I can maybe, maybe that, uh, my YouTube channel will take off and I'll, I'll have a half a million subscribers and I could leave the YouTube channel to my kids and they can continue to get the, you know, they would never know if I died, I guess. I would still get the direct deposit every month. I mean, that's not the reason I'm doing this, but that's, that's just something crazy to think about, you know? That it's possible that. Somebody could leave, you know, if they had a really successful YouTube channel, they could leave it to their kids and they could get, you know, several thousand dollars stream a month. Those guys make, you know, some of them make ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month, more, you know, you know, I make, I make like a hundred, 110, 120 sometimes, but you know, it's good. It's good. You know, I get a little exercise walking down Esplanade Avenue. If you continue walking all the way, you'll run into the river. You'll get really wet. That's when Ed Avenue runs into the river. And there's another streetcar track down there. It's the Riverfront Streetcar that goes to the French Market. That's when Ed Avenue. Well, well, French Market is actually over this way, you know, but I think it, it might go to Elysian Fields. I'm not sure, but it, it, it ends somewhere around here, but it goes all the way down to the, uh, to the Riverwalk, the Convention Center. You know, I mean, for two dollars, it's not bad if you're in the area, but it's kind of hard to get to because it's literally on the river. But if you're near the river already, it's a good it's a good mode of transportation. Some beautiful homes. I mean, I, I bet you some of them are in some bad repair. Though that's the only problem. Some of them are in some really bad shape. I bet. I should really take care of it before they fall down. You know, you gotta watch out for termites down here. Termites are really bad. My mom's house had termites and it pretty much ate the house. If you don't take care of it, if you don't catch it at, well, I'll stop here because that's just the port of call. Good burger place. They, got you, they, give, they don't give you french fries, they give you a baked potato. Baked potato is really good here. Baked potato and burger. 
I think there's a pizza on the menu, but I don't, I don't think anybody comes to get a pizza here. Maybe a steak on the menu too, but there's only like three things on the menu. Everybody goes for the burger. You know, they get, they grate, they get, they, the cheese they put on top of the burger is grated cheese. I'm gonna start doing that. When I cook a hamburger next time, I'm gonna grate some cheese off of like a cheddar block. I like sharp cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese and melted on it, so much better. You know? They don't really melt the cheese though at, at Porta Call. It's kind of, I mean, the, the heat from the burger might melt it a little bit, but that's the only bad thing I can, when they put it in the, when they put the uh, cheddar cheese, I, I, think, I, I assume it's cheddar, I don't know. When they put the cheese on, the shredded cheese on top of the potato, it's so good. Anyway, yeah, I wish I could give you some history about this area, but I pretty much know nothing. <laughs> Lived here all my life and I know nothing about the area really. It's a shame, huh? I should have paid attention in, in school. Louisiana history, it was a class we had to take. It was eighth grade actually. How many eighth graders are interested in Louisiana history? I mean, you teach them at the wrong time. Maybe that should be a high school class. Maybe somebody was a little bit interested, you know? And yeah, I mean, how many eighth graders, 12, 13 years old, are interested in, in Louisiana history? No, I wasn't. More interested in taking a nap during class, I guess. You know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let us sleep. You know, you could try. People acting like they're paying attention and dozing off. You know, I was going to walk down the street and walk back up, but if I walked just down the neutral ground, oh, that's a funny thing. It's called a neut neutral ground here. I mean, a lot of places call it a, a median, maybe. I don't know what else they call it. I guess they call it a median, but here we're called our neut neutral ground. They got restaurants and bars named after <laughs> neutral ground, this and neutral ground, that. Like newspapers and stuff. That one's for lease if you want to buy it, if you want to rent it. Seven nineteen. 719, that's Wayne Avenue. Oh, and that van looked older than me. That's like a 1970 van. 1978 van, I want to say. You know, it might be 80s, who knows. Seven fourteen there. I don't know if you can see the address. Easy for me to tell you, that's 714, that's 716. A lot of doubles here. Here's a parking lot. I guess that used to be a house, see? That's what I'm telling you. You know, when people, you know, what happened to that beautiful house they had, you know, at 717, you know, 717 S18 Avenue. What, I mean, that used to be beautiful. And they, they, they could look at my video and see and check it out, but, you know, see what it used to look like because it's torn down now. <laughs> this one's really nice. It's a little shack over there, but I mean, that's probably one of the oldest ones. Funny story, that's probably one of the oldest ones. Let's get two addresses, 640 S18 Avenue and 1330 Royal Street. That's funny, it's got two addresses. But this is a beautiful home here. 639 S18 Avenue. Super beautiful. dude back there oh beautiful oak trees there's a dude back there looked like he was living here i was trying to not to not to film him respect his privacy even though he is outside but yeah that's just dudes on hard time you don't need anybody videoing him he's i saw some blankets out out here he looked like he was living out here he looks like a young guy too maybe 30 years old I have a huge homeless pop, huge, huge homeless problem here. I don't have the answers to it, so I can't fix it. A lot of times, they, you know, you offer them a place to stay, and they don't, they don't want it because they don't want to follow the rules, you know. Or they have a dog and a, or a cat or something, and they can't bring the dog or cat in. It's interesting looking. Six hundred one's interesting looking. Oh, here we go. Here's some interesting history for you. 
how I blacked it out. I wonder why they blacked it out. Continue from other side. Oh, I got the second side first. <laughs> New Orleans and the domestic slave trade. Interesting. Here's the first part. You should have read first. You can read it if you want. Now you can pause the video and read it if you're interested in reading about the slave trade here. You know. And that New Orleans is not the only city, obviously, to participate in that. 12 years of slave. Oh, 12 years of slave. Solomon Northup. Santa Star. Solomon Northup, 12 years a slave. A free man of color from New York was sold into slavery in 1841. His story is chronicled in his 1853 memoir, 12 Years a Slave, and an award-winning movie by the same name. So, it's huh, a movie about it. You can watch a movie, 12 Years a Slave, it's called. Yeah, how y'all been? You're doing all right? Man, I thought I had COVID. I got like a mucus in my, you know, you know how I feel when you get, you can't swallow. I'm still kind of, I mean, I don't have any congestion problem right now, but yesterday was terrible. So I woke up this morning and I slept pretty good, but I said, man, let me take a COVID test because I don't want to get everybody sick. If I, if I got it, you know, I got to isolate. So let me take a COVID test and make sure I don't have it. Sure enough, I don't have it. Well, the test, the test showed negative, so who knows? Yeah, I don't, I mean, my nose is fine. I was just having a little... <clears throat> You know, you can't swallow sometimes and stuff like that and a little cough. First time I've been sick in two in two years. First time I've been sick since I got COVID when I went to Chicago. I got it. I went to Chicago for a week with my wife. She had a conference, a teaching conference. <laughs> I get it on the when I get back from Chicago into New Orleans, I had COVID. I'm like, are you kidding me? I've gone all these years without getting it. And now I go to Chicago one time, but my, but my wife was right. She kept telling me, don't touch that, don't touch that. Like in the subway, not the subway, but the L train and this and that. It's like, don't touch that, you're going to get sick. She was right. <laughs> I was touching too much stuff. I got, maybe, I, maybe I put my fingers in my mouth. Or I don't know, you know. I got it some kind of way in Chicago, I think. This used to be, I think this used to be the old Mint. That's when it happened there. It's a fire station. Over there is Checkpoint Charlie's, pretty famous. And right there is the river. There's a big flood wall in the river. Yeah. Let me take a walk on, uh, take a walk on uh, Frenchman Street. This is Decatur here. That's Decatur goes all the way down to Canal Street. This is called something triangle. I forgot what it's called. It's a little triangle. Yeah, people are drinking already, gee. It is 1230. 1230 in a blistering summer day. Summer just started, what, six days ago, seven days ago? Man, I got some construction here. It's all fenced off. Oh, what are they doing here? Maybe the building needed some kind of strap or something. Maybe it was falling over and they had some support for it. Who knows? But man, what happened here? Got some all kind of construction going on. This old bike. Bike's old. It's a 504 Frenchman. Oh, the place is getting some shade. It's not too bad, but, it, but if you're baking in the sun, you're baking, man. I don't make this video too long. It's only 14 minutes. That's not too bad. We can take a walk down here real quick. Nola Pool Boys. I didn't know there was a Nola Pool Boys here. Po boys, barbecue shrimp, raw oysters, charbroiled. I like charbroiled. Charbroiled is always good. I'm gonna walk down here to the main corner and then turn around, take a different way, take a different route or something. This is a Blue Nile. Blue Nile is popular, like for a music venue, live music on at night. Here is a, here is a. In this corner here, it's called. Used to be called when I was a kid. It used to be called Cafe Brazil, but it's not called Cafe Brazil anymore. It's called Favela Chic now. Favela Chic. Hey, smash the thumbs up button for me if you haven't yet. Appreciate it. This is that dog. It's like a sausage and hot dog place. 
We got some good meat. We got spotted cat down there. This place called the Spotted Cat. This used to be a really popular uh, soul food place. It's not a soul food place anymore. They moved somewhere else. You can see this is all neighborhood now. I'm in the all neighborhood area. I'm sure this is like maybe Farberg something or Farberg Marigny. Maybe Marigny's on the other side of uh, Legion Fields. I'm not sure, but if this is not Farberg Marigny, we're really close because it's right on the other side. It's nice and quiet here, huh? Get an idea of some of the colors they use around here. A lot of lavenders and light greens and light oranges. Peach, maybe that's a peach. Probably be a good thumbnail right there. I took a picture of it. Oh yeah, did I, what was I saying? If you, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up for, button for me, go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you think you might be interested in New Orleans content. Content, <laughs> if I could talk. All right, this is back to we're back to S18. Now we made a little circle kind of thing. Made a little circle. Yeah, share it out if you can when you Facebook. If you, Share it with somebody you think might be interested. Somebody coming to New Orleans or something. The French Quarter. I want to see what the French Quarter looks like. This is a little bit off the beaten track over here. There's a lot of locals go hang out around here. It's not so heavily tourist populated over in this side. This side of S1A because you're just outside of the French Quarter. This is the French Quarter on that side. There's charters. S1A and charters. Yeah, we've seen all this already. There's a guy sitting in his Tesla. I want to say he's an Uber driver because I used to be an Uber driver here. I did it for, you know, part-time for a while. And uh, Uber's, Uber's got some kind of program where they're renting out, they're letting drivers rent Teslas. They pay by the week. And they think, oh, it's only like 300 a week or something. It's like, yeah, do you know how much 300 a week is if you do it on a monthly basis? It's not 300 times four. A lot of people like that. A lot of people are not misconception. If you pay in by the week, it ain't 300 times four. It's maybe 300 times 4.2, because you know it's more more than four weeks in every month, except for one month, February. But anyway, yeah, they they pay like 1,300. I figured it out. You know, multiplied times 52 weeks a year, then divided by thir you know 12 months, they pay like 1,350 dollars a month a, a month before they make a dollar. And they still gotta pay for charging, like you know, if you don't if you're not charging at the house, I mean even if you are charging at the house, you're paying for electricity. But if you're not charging at the house, you gotta pay to charge your car somewhere. Okay, so you spend a hundred bucks on charging. Or maybe hundred and fifty. You're up to fifteen hundred a month before you make a dollar. Like, oh my god, it's horrible. I feel so bad for them. You know, and, and they post in these pictures how much they made, you know. Oh, I made nine hundred dollars this week. I'm like, yeah, great. Nine hundred minus your three fifty or four hundred for Renting your, renting your Tesla. But you know, they got a Tesla. They got a Tesla. I hope they enjoy that Tesla because it's really expensive that they're renting it. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could buy one, but not, everyone, not everyone's got that kind of money, you know, and if you do buy it, do you want to put all those miles on it? You know, I know it's not an engine, it's, it, miles is not a big deal, but guess what? To get those miles, you have to recharge the battery. And that battery can only be recharged so many times. It's a lithium ion battery, I'm sure. And that's what, they don't have a, you know, they don't have a 30 year life expectancy. I think they can only be recharged, I wanna say 1,500 or 2,000 times, you know, before they, you know, maybe after 500 charges, you know, a full charge, I'm not talking about, you know, charge a little bit. 500 full charges, the battery's already starting to deteriorate. Just like, look on your, look on your phone. If you have an iPhone, they got, you have an Android, they those little things, battery help. Those lithium biome batteries, they can't be charged to 100% after, you know, after you're charging 500 times. They're not supposed to last two years. You know, if you're charging your phone every day, obviously, you know, two years is about all you can, you can expect to get out of a lithium ion battery. And especially if you charge it to 100%, that's bad. Uh, you know, even if you read everything, you know, people say, oh, I charge mine to 100%, I'll leave it plugged in all night. You know, that's great, it worked out for you, but you're not supposed to charge it over 80% unless you're gonna use it right away. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Oh. 
a little hypodermic needle for you. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here because it's, you know, I'm just rambling now. Remember to subscribe, smash that thumb bu thumbs up button for me, and I'll see y'all in the next video. It's Johnny V from Esplanade Avenue, where I'm in the shade here. 95 degrees, guys. Peace out.